Good afternoon, everybody. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by A.G. Griffin's Gerald OTC, the National Anthem, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Congratulations, class 2013. Welcome to the graduation of the Aiden Griffin class of 2013. Thank you all for coming out to support us in this milestone of our lives. We would like to especially welcome the guests sitting behind me, our parents and friends, and all those who have helped us on our way here. It is because of all of the people in our lives that we are here today. We have had many events in the last four years that have shaped us into the young men and women we are today. I remember our freshman year, we got lost on the way to pretty much every class, even though it's just a big square. I literally followed Deanna to all my classes for the first two weeks of school. In our sophomore year, we got Mr. Baker and we became the best kept secret in Pitt County. Our junior year, we had the tuberculosis outbreak of Aiden Grifton, adding another test we had to pass to make it to the next grade. And finally, in our senior year, we had several changes. First, a face from the past joined us with Ms. McKesson, and then Ms. Ms. Cannon retired. But despite all the changes, we still had to get ready for college, the military, and the workforce. And for all of those of you who are still unsure about the future, here's a quote from Dr. Seuss to reassure you. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. So now, before Kat starts crying, I would like to tell all of you here, thank you for the memories, the good, the bad, the happy, the sad. We were there for each other, and because of that, we made it through to today.
On behalf of the graduating class of 2013, I would like to take this time to thank our parents and grandparents. You are the ones who supported and guided us through the last 13 years of school. Thank you for teaching us to be strong and pursue our dreams. You gave us determination to never give up and showed us that actions do speak louder than words. From very early on, you taught us the importance of family and true friends. You taught us to value ourselves and others. You have taught us to challenge ourselves in new and positive ways and to never stop growing. Thank you for all the countless hours and late nights spent helping us to complete homework and projects due the next day. You stayed with us when we were scared. You taught us to laugh. You cried with us, protected us, but most importantly, you loved us. For my parents, thank you for showing me that God's love is constant. I love you, Mom and Dad. So at this time, I ask you, class of 2013, to join me in a round of applause for all the parents and grandparents that made this day possible. Good afternoon, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Aiden Griffin High School class of 2013. This is a very special time for these young men and women, and they deserve a graduation exercise that is carried out with pride and dignity. On behalf of the class of 2013, I respectfully request that you remain seated during the ceremony and please respect all students when diplomas are being awarded. I wish to acknowledge the faculty and staff members who are present today and to say thank you for helping with the many assignments required for this to be a successful commencement program. A special thank you goes to Mr. Marty Baker, principal, and the graduation director, Mrs. Dawn Everett. We are pleased to have as our guests today the members of the Pitt County Board of Education, Mr. Mark Richard, Chair, Mr. Worth Forbes, Vice Chair, Ms. Jill Kamnitz, Ms. Mildred Council, Mr. Benji Forrest, Mr. Sean Kenny, Mr. Robert Moore, and Ms. Barbara Owens, and the Superintendent of Pitt County Schools, Dr. Beverly Emery. At the conclusion of today's graduation ceremony, we respectfully request that all guests remain in the upper level until all seniors have exited the Coliseum. At this time, Mr. Marty Baker, principal, will introduce the salutatorian and the valedictorian of this year's senior class. Sydney Hendricks is a young woman of whom any parent would be most proud. She is committed to excellence in every endeavor and strives to meet whatever challenge is placed before her. Academics for her has always been her top priority. She played volleyball, in addition was vice president of HOSA and has been active in the National Honor Society, the Career and Technical Education Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, Key Club, Link Crew, and Dream Team. Sydney will be majoring in biology at East Carolina University as part of the EC Scholars Program and the Early Assurance Program with guaranteed acceptance into the Brody School of Medicine. At this time, I would like for her parents, Jeff and Allison Hendricks, to please stand. Please give them a round of applause. Please join me with a warm welcome to the salutatorian of the class of 2013, Ms. Sydney Hendricks. Throughout high school, I've met many different people from schools other than Aiden Grifton. It wasn't until I began hearing stories from these other schools that I really began to appreciate AG. I started to realize that my experiences here are pretty unique. At AG, it is almost impossible to walk the halls and not know every single person that passes you. At AG, our cafeteria staff is referred to as family. At AG, your teacher taught you, your siblings, and your parents. 
At AG, we accept new students who may not have clicked with their previous schools with open arms and welcoming hearts. At AG, we go through hard times as a united front. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Aiden Griffin is unlike any other. Where else would you have your teachers double as psychologists and life counselors? And where else would you be surrounded by people looking out for your well-being? Things may not have always been rainbows and butterflies, but there are plenty, and there are plenty of frustrating aspects of a small school with limited resources. But we got through. I can confidently say that our class has done something amazing here. We have taken on the roles of the leaders in the school and have built it up to high expectations. Through these four years, we have stuck together and persevered together. I want everyone in front of me to look at your classmates surrounding you. I want you to think about the relationships that have been formed over the past four years, including with our amazing teaching staff. Now I want you all to take a moment to be completely grateful for these relationships, because one like these are few and far in between. You may forget the number of Alert Now calls Mr. Baker sent out in one month. You may forget the surge of pride of going to the state championship. You may forget the ridiculous amount of orange hats found on dashboards at the start of hunting season. You may forget the uniform policy or hiding from the administrators enforcing the uniform policy. You may forget Coach Ross's eloquent speeches. But I for one can say that I will never forget the amazing people in this school and the relationships that have been built over the past four years. Now as I'm coming to a close, I could say some cheesy overused quote about leadership or determination or how we are the leaders of tomorrow, but instead I'm going to leave you with this small piece of advice. Wherever your life takes you, just remember everything that Aiden Griffin has taught you. For those who already need a refresher, Mr. Tyre taught us to always have an opinion. Ms. Everett taught us to simply not be stupid. Mr. Mack taught us, if you're not going to be good, be good at it. Coach Skinner taught us to be passionate about something, even if it is as silly as Alexander Hamilton. And finally, Coach Cornwell taught us that the smallest of people or the smallest of schools can achieve great things. So in conclusion, as our lives go in many different directions, just remember that, they, that we will always be a family of chargers. Thank you. Thank you, Sydney. During his four years in high school, Matthew McLaughorn has been a leader in academics. He is a highly motivated student and a scholar. Matthew is a member of the National Honor Society, the Career and Technical Honor Society, and HOSA. He served as vice president of FBLA and captain of the varsity baseball team. He was chief marshal in 2012. We wish him well next year as he pursues a business administration major at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. At this time, I would like to ask his parents, Michael and Marla McLaughorn, to please stand and be recognized. Please give a warm welcome to our valedictorian of the class of 2013, Matt McLaughorn. To say the least, it's been an amazing ride. Not amazing because of the rigorous assignments or many hours of homework that some of us never did, but amazing simply because of the relationships we were able to establish along the way. Today marks the end of our high school careers. Soon we'll be receiving our much anticipated diplomas and parting ways one last time. As one chapter of our life ends, another one begins. Some of you will be going to college, joining the military, or jumping straight into the workforce to begin your careers. No matter which path you choose to embark on, there's one thing that will hold true for each of us. Success will never be guaranteed. Now you may be asking yourself, what does he mean by success? Does being successful mean that I make a lot of money, drive a nice car, or have a house on the beach? While the answer to that is no, you're more than welcome to invite me over to hang out if that ends up being one of you. Success is waking up every morning knowing that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. It's a feeling of peace and contentment. The peace of mind of knowing that you've seized every opportunity that's come your way and worked as hard as you possibly could. Only then can you and should you feel content. Will you fail along the way? 
Will you make mistakes and errors in judgment? The answer is most certainly yes. However, failure isn't defined by the number of times you don't succeed. Failure is allowing the absence of success to keep you from getting back up and trying again. I urge you to never let failure or the fear of failure keep you from stepping out of your comfort zone and accomplishing your goals. You never fail until you quit trying. Nothing in life of value will ever come easy. I said by Tim Knott, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. You can have and do anything in life that you're willing to work for. For some, it will take more effort. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you aren't good enough, smart enough, rich enough, or good looking enough to be successful. Don't let others put limits on how successful you can be. As Harvey Fierstein said, accept no one's definition of your life. Define yourself. Believe it or not, not everyone wants you to succeed. Beware of those who will feel threatened by your success. Even those who are closer to you can undermine your efforts. You should surround yourself with people that have proven to have only your best interest in mind. You should be diligent, work hard, and most importantly, have fun. In closing, I'd like to say thanks to my mom and dad, my grandmothers, Elaine and Goldie, and my grandfather, Buddy, for their unconditional love and support. I'd also like to say thanks to Ms. Everett, Mrs. Dawes, Coach Skinner, and Coach Brooks for their time-consuming recommendations. I'd like to say farewell to my fellow classmates and hello to a new beginning. I wish all of you nothing but the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. The Aiden Gripton High School faculty and administration will honor the top four seniors at this time with a gift. Seniors, please come forward as I call your name. Will the parents of these top academic seniors please stand as your child's name is called? Ranking number four, Christina Ann Miller. Number three, Deanna Lee Tripp. Two, Sydney Lauren Hendricks. Number one, Matthew Allen McLawhorn. Our teachers and staff make up a family of committed educators who go the extra mile for their students. Our teachers do not settle for anything less than the best that each student can give. Our tu teachers tutor during their lunches before and after school and are committed to modeling the characteristics that a charger should possess. Without the guidance and wisdom of the teachers and staff, this day would not be possible. Please give a round of applause for our faculty. I would also like to recognize our recent staff retiree, Mrs. Irene Cannon, who had 30 years of service. Thank you for your commitment and your dedication to the students of Aiden Gretchen High School. Before we award the class of 2013 their diplomas, I would like to, for you to please note in your commencement program those seniors who've received special recognition as being in the top 10% of their class and as being North Carolina scholars. Congratulations to those seniors for your hard work. Thank you. On a personal note, I would like to publicly thank this wonderful group of young people for an absolutely outstanding year. This class has worked hard and has been awarded scholarship dollars in the amount of $1,682,346. Congratulations, wow. In addition, it has been a pleasure getting to know each of you, and I want each of you to know how much the administration and faculty appreciate your support of Aiden Gritton High School. You will always be a special group of students to us, and we wish you the best as you enter this new phase of your lives. At this time, we will award the members of the class of 2013 their diplomas. The presentation, this presentation represents 13 years of hard work, sweat, and dedication of the class of 2013. In an effort to ensure that each senior is recognized, please hold your applause until all diplomas have been awarded. Presenting the graduates, their diplomas will be Dr. Beverly Emery, Superintendent of Pitt County Schools. She will be assisted by Mrs. Dawn Everett and Mrs. Annette Glass.
Class of 2013, please prepare to come forward as directed by our junior marshals. Will marshals and faculty please move to your positions at this time. Will the first row please stand? Blake Thomas Allen. Jordan Elizabeth Andrews. Aquarius Deontay Andrews. Brandon Scott Armstrong. Jasmine Arnetta Artis. Tykeria Renee Artis. Deshaval Latasha Atkinson. Julian Gilberto Avalos. Nicholas Oren Babcock. Jacob Randall Baker. Malik Cortez Barrett. Michaela Barwick. Rondale Deshaun Bell. Dimitri Dequan Best. Tyree Deshaun Blunt. Catherine Olivia Bonner. Melissa Jeanette Brown. Taisha Nicole Brown. Tyrone Leonard Brown. Mark Patrick Caffarello, Jr. Naquisha Supriya Carmen. Leroy Kelvin Carruthers. Ashley Renee Chapman. Winter Lynn Coffey. Lauren Brooke Coley. Cody Austin Conway. Michaela Lynn Conway. Deshaun Lamont Cooper, Jr. Jessica Nicole Kraft. Victoria Gail Cruz. Felipe Ramirez Cruz. Calum Michael Dancy. Justin Mitchell Daltrey. Dejanay Sharice Joy Davenport. Tyler Markel Davenport. Yeah. 
Leah Elizabeth Dennis. Ashley Brianna Nicole Dillahunt. Amy Danielle Dixon. Jeremy Donnell Dixon. Shamari Lafon Dixon. Tashina Deshawn Dupree. Courtney Leanne Ellen Eeks. Samantha Renee Easton. Terry Germain Ebron. Kirby Pugh Edmonds, Jr. Jasmine Yakira Edwards. Tamika Aisha Edwards. Troy Douglas Edwards. Jordan Danielle Ennis. James Dylan Eubanks. Jacob Paul Farmer. Delquan Hakeem Farrow. Allison Nicole Faulkner. Luis Solon Fede Jr. Jasmine Denise Forbes. Jordan Alexander Fry. Anna Angelica Garcia. Diane Francesca Garcia. Leticia Nicole Garrett. Remington Lee Gaskins. Kashea Olivia Gore. Joseph Adam Grimes. Charles Branson Gwynn. Brandon Christopher Gerganis. Ashley Kiana Hardy. Kristen Chatrell Hardy. Austin Lee Healy. Jewel Ariel Heath. Sydney Lauren Hendricks. Morgan Lynn Hudson. Brandon Taylor Hunt. Stephen Lee Jesmer. Stephen Grant Johnson. Alexis Anaya Jones.
Curtis. Curtis James Jones. Kelsey Raniqua Jones. Shakia Elizabeth Jones. Anna Catherine Joyner. Amanda Marie Kaminsky. Joseph Ethan Alexander Kelso. Andre Reginald Kent, Jr. Naima Charlene Kerr. Quentin Ralph Kinsey. Brandon Devondre Jamal Larry. Justin Braxton Lawrence. Jasmine Gabrielle Libby. Christopher Alex Lopez. Zuleka Luviano. George Luis Martinez. Dequan Latte Mayo. Candace Renee McLawhorn. Cynthia Michelle McLawhorn. Justin Earl McLawhorn. Matthew Allen McLawhorn. Taravia Shante McLawhorn. Devante Malik Melton. Christina Ann Miller. Jeremiah Gerard Moore. Rashawn Javier Moore. Quayshawn Tavon Mumford. Catrice Monique Murphy. Tara Brooke Musser. Morgan Elizabeth Page. Zakia Sanchez Page. Cecilia Margarita Para Anaya. Brandon Alexander Patrick Allen. Gabriela Perez. Jason Gabriel Perez. Joylene Adela Perez. Diana Shimon Peterson.
Keith Marcel Powell. Sylvania Shonkia Pretty. Kelsey Lauren Pressy. Rayshawn Kendall Marquise Red. Erica Sandoval. Ariana Joyce Savoy. Tyler Glenn Seals. Cheyenne Yvonne Singletary. Christian Tyler Smith. George Wayne Smith, Jr. John William Stafford. Thomas Lemuel Stainback. Michael Anthony Stancil. Carly Baylin Suarez. Manisha Cartina Suggs. James Michael Logan Taylor. Tyra Lynn Taylor. Deanna Lee Tripp. Kendra Cheyenne Turner. Lucas Ellison Vickers. Jamilia Sakara Wallace. Monterio Arnez Wallace. Kenzie Lee Watson. Danny Eric Webb Jr. Amber Jacqueline White. Tyler Blake White. Bradley Cole Whitehurst. Ariel Nicole Whitfield. Keshawn Lontel Williams. DeMarc Wilson Jr. Keon Devante Wooten. Caleb Russell Worthington. Kelsey Jane Worthington. Jairo Garcia Wynn. Lisa Marybell Zavala.
ladies and gentlemen. At this time, would the graduating class of 2013 please rise? It gives me great pleasure to say to you, by the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the Pitt County Board of Education, Based on the diplomas you have just received, I hereby officially declare you graduates of Aiden Britton High School. Congratulations. At this time, Leah Elizabeth Dennis, please come forward to conduct the tassel ceremony and make closing remarks. Aiden Grifton Chargers, please join me in turning our tassels. We may be almost done with graduation, but our journey is far from over as Chargers. We will be alumni, which makes us sound really, really old. We won't have homework, which sounds really, really nice, but we will still take with us lessons that we have learned here. Leadership, determination, how to write a paper without saying the word I. Exams are over and we've passed, but treat this next stage in your life just like another Aiden Griffin exam. Remember your Charger family. We have been together these last four years and we will always be rooting for each other. Never forget what it means to be a Charger. Be who you are, even if it takes a little while to figure out exactly who that is. Do your best, even if you feel like no one else is. Shoot for the moon, because even if you don't make it, there might be a star that's just perfect for you. Overcome obstacles, just like so many of us already have. And when anyone says 2-0, always respond, one, three. All of these lessons for this exam have been taught to us at Aiden Griffin. And as Chargers, even without being graded, we can all pass together. Do your best, work hard, be who you are, pass this test, Chargers. No matter how difficult life may seem, I know that you can do it. For the very last time, have a great rest of the day, Chargers. Two out.